Hi there, my name is Dr. Dominic Rowley and I'm the Medical Director of Let's Get Checked. I'm here today to talk to you about Lyme disease. So what is Lyme disease? Well, Lyme disease is an infection caused by a bacteria and this bacteria is carried by ticks. These ticks are known as black-legged ticks or also deer ticks. And they're most commonly found in heavy woodland areas or foresty areas. And the riskiest months for contracting Lyme disease would be between May and September. And this is when the ticks are at their youngest and are most likely to be biting. Lyme disease is a really interesting infection and one you may not have heard about. It is one of the fastest growing infections across Europe, uh, only second to HIV and AIDS. In America, uh, the incidence of Lyme disease has tripled in the past 30 years, and approximately 30,000 Americans are diagnosed with Lyme disease every year. Uh, what is somewhat worrying about Lyme disease is that the states that were classically um, very infectious for Lyme disease, for example, upstate New York, now every, 50, every one of the 50 states in America is reporting um, an increase in Lyme disease. And there's also a 14% rise in Lyme disease in Europe. So you would imagine this is a very well-researched infection and disease, but actually it's not. It's one of the most um, unresearched infections in the Western world. So as I mentioned, Lyme disease is an infection caused by bacteria and carried by a black-legged tick or a deer tick. So what's really important, therefore, to remember is that this is a, what we call in medical terms a vector-borne disease. So you cannot get Lyme disease from another person, and that's really important to remember. So patients often ask me, well, what are the early signs and symptoms of um, Lyme disease and what are the late signs and symptoms of Lyme disease? So as I mentioned, when most of us get bitten by a tick, we don't develop Lyme disease. We, we just clear the infection ourselves. But if the tick stays on the body for more than 36 hours, you have a higher chance of developing Lyme disease. So in the early stages, between 30, uh, three days and 30 days after the tick biting you, you may develop a very specific type of rash known as erythema migrans. It's also uh, called a bullseye rash because it looks like a bullseye because it has a red center to it. So shortly after developing this rash, you may notice that you like, have flu-like symptoms. So you may feel shivery and shaky. You may have a mild fever. Your joints may be sore. Your muscles may be achy. And this is all part and common uh, signs and symptoms of early Lyme disease. Late Lyme disease, then, on the other hand, is, is much more specific and can cause more serious problems. It can affect your joints, leading to arthritis. It can affect your neurological uh, system, and this can present in many different ways. It can present with a facial droop, i.e. a facial palsy. It can cause meningitis. It can cause deafness and um, tingling in your, in your um, extremities or the peripheries of your hands and, and feet and numbness in any part of the body. And it can also affect the heart and it can it cause a, what we call a myopathy or an inflammation of the heart muscles. And this can lead to an irregular heartbeat. So these would be the much more serious sides, our late uh, presenting symptoms of Lyme disease, which are, is important to say, are not a, that common. So who should get tested for Lyme disease? Well, the majority of us will have been bitten by a tick at some point. So not all of us need to get tested for Lyme disease. However, if you have, are regularly camping or hiking in woodland areas, if you live in an area of rich vegetation or woodland area, if you've been bitten by a tick and then develop the, some of the symptoms that I've mentioned, like a flu-like illness and in, the, in the days after um, being bitten by a tick, you are more likely to have developed Lyme disease and therefore you should be tested. And if you regularly come into contact with large woodland animals, such as deer or horses, then it would be advisable to get tested for Lyme disease. Patients often ask me, how do you prevent getting Lyme disease? Well, like many, many illnesses or many diseases that you've heard about me talk in previous Let's Get Checked videos, prevention is better than cure. So if there are many ticks in your area, or you regularly go hiking, or you come into contact with woodland animals, we recommend that you cover yourself in all exposed areas, and also that you use a tick repellent. So that would be the most common sense advice. Um, if, however, you do develop Lyme disease, it's very easily treated with commonly available antibiotics, and that's very important to remember. So don't worry and don't fear too much. Um, there is another type, or there's another development of Lyme disease known as chronic Lyme disease. The symptoms of chronic Lyme disease really vary from patient to patient, so I'm not going to delve into the treatment of that in this particular video. If you have any questions at all, please log on to our website, letsgetchecked.com, or of course, talk to one of our nurses through our phone line or live chat, and they'd be really happy to direct you as to what the best test for you is.